I was surprised to hear that almost everyone I spoke to didn't necessarily agree with the 100 million sharks, and some of them didn't even recognize it. Uh, but those that did support the 100 million sharks definitely blamed the Asian fin market for the problem. A huge number of, of that 100 million is, is because of shark finning. You know, and shark finning is a, a big problem out there. There's, there's no arguing that it's being done. The fins never skyrocketed in value until 1991. And then once it started doing that doubling, tripling, you got to figure we were at three and four and six dollars a pound, and then nine and ten and eleven dollars a pound, and then they're at thirty dollars a pound. Wet. When they're dry like this, eighty to hundred. And yet you still have to dress it all down. The longer the noodle, the more valuable it was. You have the high sea fleets, Taiwanese, the Spanish, the Chinese, the Russians. Japanese. That same clip that they keep showing of that blue shark, live, finned, pitched it overboard. Vessel was like 200 foot vessel or something like that out in the Pacific or wherever it was. It wasn't our guys. It's been illegal to fin in this country since 1993. Everyone would disagree with the way we would find atrocious the shark finning of live sharks. I mean, you don't do this to a live animal. I mean, that's as simple as that. Because the meat market had been collapsed by the media, and then they started finning, which was not illegal. But keep in mind, finning is you remove the fin and you throw the remainder overboard. Removing the fin and dressing the carcass is a horse of another color. So people misinform people for the longest time, tell them it was aphrodisiac. It is not. It's a vitality enhancer. That's why the long noodle, that old man, see that long noodle, it doesn't matter if it's a shark fin noodle or a noodle made out of, you know, some kind of dough. It's symbolic. They don't cut their noodles. They keep their noodle long, long life. I hate to be, uh, in fact, a, a witness of this kind of argument that is being spread by the media and has been uh, making its way to uh, the people and saying, well, this is atrocious. And then again, what the link is made with this 100 million shark kills every year for what? Fin soup, shark fin soup. Then it turns into a racist type of approach. People say, what those stupid Chinese are doing? They're, they're ruining the population of sharks and so on. And they're creating unbalance in the ocean. Is this a status symbol? It's not the soup itself, it isn't anything special, I've had it. Uh, it's the thought that it's a special item, it's the caviar of, of, of a ceremony. Uh, frankly, what has to happen is we have to stop the cultural tradition 